Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we will be talking about one of the most important, I think, uh, things that people don't ask for. Yes, you heard that right. I said people don't ask for. That is, what are some common mistakes that everyone who applies for, you know, uh, the UPSC Civil Service Examination makes? So now what happens is when you're only focusing on the good things or when you're only focusing on maybe just, you know, improving yourself and just, you know, going with the flow, people, uh, you know, many times they ignore the things that they shouldn't do and then they end up doing that. But that's the reason we here at, um, you know, Institute Rank will teach you, will let you explore the things that you're not supposed to do as well so that you're well aware of the fact that, you know, where you're going ahead with this kind of preparation, which is there, right? So first and the foremost thing that an, a U, UPSC aspirant can make a mistake would be to not refer to the UPSC uh, syllabus. A lot of people just, you know, out of excitement or maybe ent enthusiasm, they, ju they just jump straight into the syllabus and start studying. But that's not how things work, right? You need to have these range of topics. You need to have these specifications when it comes to syllabus to go ahead and kickstart your preparation. So first and foremost, thing always would be to refer your UPSC syllabus. Second, second mistake that uh, most of the UPSC aspirants do is that they end up choosing the wrong optional. Yes, because uh, because what happens is usually uh, whenever a person is choosing an optional subject, he or she uh, basically sees the you know trend of the um, particular subject, and also they also acknowledge the fact that okay maybe this subject is very scoring because according to the trends I can see this. That's why they go forward with it. And basically, um, I would rather say that a herd mentality is made but I think that that is not how you should be choosing your optional subject that you should be very very clear that you should have uh, you know certain sort of interest towards the subject because if you're not you know really interested towards your optional subject then you wouldn't really pay attention to it and again if you don't pay attention to it then you would you know uh, rather end up just hurting your own uh, self because you would assume and you would know that you have not prepared well and that's not really a good feeling right is it so uh, choose an option subject very very wisely know your strengths know your weaknesses and then take decisions in the right uh, you know way other than that, a lot of people ignore the current affairs because they think that they've covered their theory part in such a way, in such a, you know, amazing manner that they don't need to study the current affairs. And this is again where a lot of people go wrong because current affairs is the heart and the soul of the paper, I've already said, because uh, the UPSC, uh, you know, uh, whoever sells the paper, they set the paper with the aim that it has to be like an amalgamation of both the static and the dynamic part and it will always be the, the questions will always be formed in a way that it will be like a, a two way of both the things. So if you have just read the static part, you won't be able to answer any of the questions because uh, you wouldn't really be able to substantiate your answers with the kind of examples uh, that the current affairs would provide you. So please do not, uh, you know, ignore the current affairs, read the newspapers every single day uh, on a regular basis and follow it religiously because that is something that will push your, uh, you know, I would say preparation to some great height that even you might not be able to, uh, you know, fathom. So that is there. Other than that, a lot of people again do not practice mock tests because they feel that mock tests are just a waste of time, right? Because again, I understand that, you know, putting in so much hours just to stimulate that kind of experience is kind of boring. And other than that, you know, and then analyzing it again is an uphill task. But trust me, all these uh, steps that you will take will you know, make you reach great heights because if you ignore your mock test now, then, you know, in the exam, you'll understand, you will have time management issues, you will not have ample amounts of practice since you won't be, you know, well versed with the kind of pattern which is there. So I would suggest you all to do a lot of mock tests, you know, I think a good number would be 40 to 60. Yes, you heard that right. This is the kind of, uh, you know, preparation that you need to go through in order to crack UPSC because again, it's not a joke, right? and it's not a child's play at all. So uh, these were some of the common mistakes that mostly UPSC aspirants do. And I hope you all don't make it because now you know exactly what not to do. Other than that, as usual, I wish everyone uh, 
and all the best for all the exams and of course you will do well stay tuned